Russia is by far the greatest beneficiary of the geopolitical revolution brought about by the melting of the polar ice shed. Huge amounts of oil and gas made accessible by ice melting would add to the already vast Russian fields, consecrating Moscow's role as energy power. The entire Russian north, now covered with ice, would gain a new centrality and a great strategic role, as new sea routes between the Atlantic and the Pacific would become viable, diminishing the importance of Russia's traditional quest for warm seas. When an expedition promoted by then-President Vladimir Putin planted a Russian flag four kilometers under sea, right on the North Pole, many governments around the world began worrying. The polar game is in fact one of the best indicators of Russia's geopolitical ambitions, as shown by the bold plans of exploitation of submarine gas fields, starting from the huge Stockman field in the Barents Sea. In strategic and military terms, Moscow has in the Polar Sea the only unrestricted access point to the Atlantic. That's why former President Vladimir Putin spent lots of energy in strengthening the Northern Fleet, a move that will be likely imitated by all the Arctic powers. This new arms race will probably foster tensions in the region, opening military scenarios whose repercussions may go well beyond the regional borders.